We just got a brand new Copilot Answers Control for our Power Apps Canvas apps. Now this might be a little confusing because we already had a Copilot Control in Power Apps. So I'm going to show you the differences between the two and when you might use each. So let's take a look. So this new Copilot Answers Control was just announced in this blog post on April 3rd, 2024. This is an addition to the existing Copilot control we have, but it's for a very specific use case. It allows you to pass it in a pre-canned prompt, and then that will surface up data based on that prompt. So it's not something that the user would interact with and ask questions, but rather you'd put in a prompt to have it return some data for you. So this example right here would be passing in a question for Copilot to summarize our accounts, and then it would take that prompt, look through your database and surface up that information. So if you want a quick high level view of something from your data, this is a good fit for that. Now, the big caveat with this control is right now it does only support Dataverse as a data source. So this would only be if you want to surface up information from tables in your Dataverse database. So let's go over to Power Apps and we'll see what the difference is between these two controls. I have a blank page on my inventory management application where I manage my plant inventory. And I'm going to add in both of these Copilot controls. So we'll click on this plus button to add an object in this container. And in the recommended section here, right at the top, we see we have the Copilot control recommended to add. And this is the Copilot control that's been there for a while now in preview. And you'll notice next to it, there is the diamond icon indicating that this is a premium feature. So be aware from a licensing perspective that once you add this into your app, that is premium app territory. But we'll add this in. And how this one functions, unlike the Copilot answers control that's new, is we can bind it to any data source. So if we wanted to point it to a SharePoint list, SQL database, whatever it is, we could do that by selecting the connector. In this case, my data so happens to be in Dataverse, so I am going to bind this particular Copilot control to my order information table. And now it's wired up and ready to go. So if we play this, we'll see this is really intended to give our end users of our application a way to interact with our data that we bound it to, which is our Dataverse table in this case, and ask questions. It's going to give us some suggestions here of things that we can ask. Or of course, I can type in my own question. So I can say, what is the most common type of plant ordered? And it should be able to go look through that table and get this information using generative AI and return that back to me. And there you go, it came back with an answer that the most common type of plant is a perennial with 586 orders. So this Copilot control right here is a great way to give your users an interactive capability in the app to ask questions about data. So rather than having to comb through a list of data and try to find this information themselves, they can just ask the Copilot and get some quick access information. Now let's take a look at the Copilot answers control. So say we knew there was a question that is going to be very common that a lot of people might want to know when they go to the dashboard landing page of this inventory app. That's where we might want to use this control. So we'll go into our insert menu here and we'll do a search for Copilot and we'll see the new Copilot answer control here. So we'll add that onto our screen. And it works in the exact same way as a Copilot control where we bind it to our data. So we'll bind that to our Dataverse list. And I'm just going to change this layout so we can see this better. And now we'll see our answer control here. So there's a few properties I want to configure to get this control working. First thing you see right here, it just says summary. So that's the header for the Copilot answer, which we can change and customize. So if I knew that a lot of people were going to want to know what the most common ordered plant is, I could make that a tile here with the answer pre-populated using Copilot answers. So to customize this, we'll go to our properties pane with the Copilot answers control selected. And first I'll change the title to most popular plant ordered. And then we just need to change this section here for question for Copilot. So it's going to be pre-populated with summarized records, but I'll just remove that and I'll put in my custom prompt and I'll just use the same thing that I put in to that Copilot control. So I'm going to say, what is the most common type of plant? Now the other property to configure for this control is this show answer. It's a drop down, and we have two different options. So the default is after sending or we can have it show immediately. So if we wanted this to act more as kind of a tile on our homepage here, which gives some quick information, then we might choose the immediately option. Otherwise we would choose after sending. So it would be pre-populated with this question and they could send that to request that they get the answer back. But I'm going to change this one to immediately. And the only downside, I guess, with this would be it does take a minute to get the response, as you see. So when the page is initially loaded, they'll see that little spinning graphic for a little bit. 
All right, and that is really all that we need to customize with this. We could tweak it further if we wanted to have it point to specific views in our Dataverse table. We can change that with the view dropdown. And if we wanted to limit the fields that it's looking across, we could customize the fields here as well. But now if we were to play this, we can see the experience would be loaded, it's saying generating output, and it's making that call behind the scenes. And then it would show here that the most common plant types, again, the same answer that we got before, are perennial, and it will give us that high level information there. And of course, following all the responsible AI practices by letting us know this is AI generated and all of that. So you can see how we could use this new Copilot Answers Control to build a dashboard of tiles of information to surface up to our user. So in this case, we're showing the most common plant types, but we might want to also know how many orders we had in a given month. So to do that, we could simply go and insert another Copilot Answer Control, bind it to our data source, and we'll change the title here to orders for March. And for the question, I'll change this to count the total number of orders received for March 2024. Or you could even say for the given month, I just don't have any in there for April yet. So I'm going to specify the month here. And for the show answer, I'll leave this one to after sending so you can see what this experience would look like to the end user. So in this case, we have this title for orders for March, and then the end user would just have to know to click that send button to send the query to get that information back. And there we have our answer. So to summarize this, use the Copilot control in Power Apps if you want to give your end users a way to answer questions about data interactively. So they can put in any question that they want and see what kind of results they get. And use the Copilot answers control if there's a specific query that you want to surface up to the user from Copilot. So hopefully that clears it up and gives you some ideas of where you might use these Copilot controls inside of your Power Apps Canvas apps. And keep in mind, these are both still in preview. If you've used either of these controls, I'd love to know what you think. Drop a note in the comments and let me know if you like it, if there's anything you'd like to see added or improved. I'd love to hear it. And if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.